What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG. In the last part, um, we basically got took, got take, five miles pounds, got them taken care of, and got things nimbus here. However, oh, oh, Busta, what to do? What to do? I'll give you this fertilizer. Let me go. Okay, we got the fertilizer. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get the lazy shell weapon and armor because now we have the uh, we have the. Uh, have the uh, equipment, but uh, we're actually gonna switch out, swap out our party. We're gonna switch uh, back to Peach and Gino. So uh, we're gonna also swap them out. Also, let's give. Uh, I think Peach can keep the safety ring. However, I'd like to um, give Gino the Jinx belt again, which Bowser has. So let's give him the Zoom shoes and Gino the Jinx belt. So, yeah, we actually have to go to Rose Town. So. Um, so, uh, yeah. There was a guy in Rose Town basically looking for seed and fertilizer. This is just a side quest. It's an optional quest, but, uh, gives you some of the best weapon and armor in the game, so I would not take, take up, I would not I would take up this offer, basically, uh, but it's this guy right here. Hi, I'm the gardener. See that huge planter? I've spent many years seeking legendary seed and fertilizer, but no luck. I'm finally find them. Oh, incredible. Do you have the legendary grass and green there? Oh, blah, 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 seed. I work, I work all over, blah, 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 blah. The text is going too fast, blah, blah, blah. That was way too fast for me. Hey, I haven't finished yet. Let's do it. So you can give me that seed? Yes. We'll give him the seed and shorter and. I can't believe that's a quick eating of uh, blah 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 fertilizer, blah blah blah, search all over the world, blah 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 blah, bean valley, blah 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 blah, fertilizer, blah 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 blah, want it. Your attention spam. Yes, you may have this fertilizer, but will you give it to me? Yes. We have the seed in the fertilizer and. I'll plant the seed. You can sell the seed and the fertilizer, but if you do that, you you cannot get this weapon. So, again, I strongly... Anyone that I've ever recommended to Mario RPG over the year, the original, I just recommend get the lazy show weapon and armor, but uh, I can I cannot read this text. It's going too fast. Are you on, like, fucking cocaine all of a sudden? Anyway, so this is the lazy shell. And this is the lazy shell. So, uh, yeah. Let's give Mario the lazy shell. 250 attack to 280 attack. Let's go. And normally my strat would be I'd give Peach the uh, lazy shell if I were playing the Super Nintendo version. However, we're just going to keep, keep the fluffy dress and we're going to make Gino carry the lazy shell armor in the Jinx belt. So that jacks up his defense. I find Gino to be more vulnerable defensive-wise than Peach, so maybe balance, I like, I'll balance it out by giving Gino, though, the Lazy Shell and the Jinx spell. Plus, Peach cannot take many hits with, even with the safety win and with self, but actually we're gonna do a, a second side quest. This is gonna be a shorter part, but uh, we're gonna go back to Moleville. This girl. Like, we need a shiny stone robe, but we cannot actually get the shiny stone yet, but, um... What we actually have to do is talk to this mole right here. You like fireworks? We're gonna about 500 coins. You need 500 coins, so, uh, yeah. Let me see what... Let me start, Let me see where I am on items, though. I have got, uh... Yeah, I need, I need to go get some more items, so, uh... We're gonna go back to Tadpole Pond, see if we can get some Coca-Colas, but, um... Unfortunately, though, in this version, you can carry only up to three Coca-Colas. That's kind of lame, because in the Super Nintendo version, you can carry as many Coca-Colas as you wanted. But, um, yeah, they're not as generous in this remake. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go back to Tadpole Pond and see if we can get a couple more Coca-Colas. I might sell some shit, to be honest. We need more coins. All right, let's sell... Need the pick me ups in case Peach dies. So uh, Peach knows come back. So um, so let's. Uh, we don't. Need, I want the. I want to keep the lucky jewel for now. We don't need the paratrooper shell. We don't need the parasol, double punch, ribbit stick, and mega gloves. So that's uh, 
I guess we can sell our armor, so uh, we never really sold much of the armor, but uh... I guess we can sell the two work pants we have, and uh... Yeah, so we're at 700 coins, so uh... Now we're gonna fly up to three Coca-Colas, because we can only carry up to three, and we're gonna, we might need all three of them for what we're gonna do here. So I think some of you that have played this game already know where we're going with this. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, Monstro Town. Just be a little bit careful because you can do this as soon as you get to Monster Time, but I'd recommend waiting to the fight till you have more, you have better armor, which I waited till right, I usually wait till right here in playthroughs. It's been sealed. Look, the shiny stone's reacting. Seal's been broken. So yeah. This is considered, it's an optional boss, but it's considered the hardest fight in the normal game. This is a 16-bit sprite. Greetings, I am Culex, Dark Knight of Vanda. I have crossed this dimension to fight from the Dark Mage. You stand for me. Where does your death come from? Why are you so running so three-dimensionally? The evil power gave me life mapped out this pla place as my form. You have formed with power. This is different text in the Super Nintendo version, by the way, but um, you formed with power known to me. I wish you could continue to be a three-dimensional world. You have to come against me? Yes. I find this fight also easier than in the Super Nintendo version. Like the Super Nintendo version, this was the hardest fight in the game, but uh. But we're actually, believe it or not, faster than Culex's, and he'll normally do his thing. So I, I might take my extra turn and do a little something, something that's a little, uh, actually, we're just going to attack with the late shell. 418 damage. I'm matter. I'm antimatter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I can consume time. And I'll consume you. So yeah, we're actually, believe it or not, faster. But uh, what I actually want to do is a little bit high risk, high reward. We're going to try using the Lucky Jewel. Try to see if we can maybe double our XP from this boss. So, uh, because they give a lot of XP as it is, but if you can double it, I only recommend this if you're playing the remake. But if you can double this, you'll definitely fare great in the post game. But, uh, Gall of Resistance. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so Gino is much more defensive. So, all of these four crystals are going to have completely different crystals. The green, the wind crystal has the least amount of HP, so I'd recommend taking this one out first. Uh, it's going to be like a super jump. I might even get it out in one super jump, who knows, but it is weak to jump. Six hundred and two damage. Not enough to take it out, but um we'll just do a group hug. Um I I don't recommend using um Geno Boost in this fight though. Mainly just armor yourself up because there's gonna be a um there's gonna be a move that Culex knows that takes out any power of Geno Boost, so it's not really worth it to really use Geno Boost in this fight, and I did this wrong. What a waste of a move, but um and we have resistance, but uh, yeah, this, this fight's tough, let's just say. It's even tough in the remake, but it's a lot more tough in the Super Nintendo version. Alright, this Super Jump should be enough to take it out. There's a reason I went and brought Coca Coca Cola's and Royal Syrups and all that. I've been saving them all for this. 554, and uh, yeah, Shredder basically eliminates any stat boost, so uh, yeah, keep that in mind. We're gonna group hug. And uh, we don't have any. Let's try Geno Blast. Wow, they're, they're actually, believe it or not. Oh, wait. I remember now. Because I have the lazy shell armor, it's eliminating pretty much the. Uh, what am I trying to say? It's pretty much eliminating Geno. So, uh, yeah, we're going to lazy shell the water crystal. I take out the water crystal second, but. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use our cro we're gonna use our first Coca Cola. I guess we can use our Rock Candy as Gino, but uh, yes, heals our this fully heals our, our party, but uh, I don't know. It's um, the Rock Candy. We got a freebie. That's awesome. By the way, that's Flare. It's the new move out in the remake. 
I wouldn't say this fight can go on for a while. Let's just say Peach is not actually almost gonna die, but uh, believe it or not, uh, the uh, it's gonna be the water crystal is actually gonna be weak to super fireball. So uh, let's see how much damage it can do. Five hundred forty-eight group hug and um. If I was not upgrading like Peach's HP and all that, she'd probably she'd be in a much worse position. But um. I thought the safety ring, but uh, wasn't be enough. But I could be wrong. Let's use the rock candy again. Didn't get a freebie this time though. But uh, oh, Peach is gonna die. Peach is definitely the most vulnerable because we didn't give her the lazy shell armor. But uh, I forgot. Did I give her the safety ring? Doesn't matter. We're in the middle of this fight, so uh. Yeah, let's just use Super Fireball till the Water Crystal's dead. Yeah, I did Shredder, so... Group Hug. And Gino, uh, let's use a Firebomb. It's gonna be the... Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, the Blue Crystal's taken out. So, the Red Crystal's gonna be, uh immune to the fire, so it's actually weak against ice, but we, I don't think we have any ice bombs, so we're just gonna have to, have to go to flash and fisticuffs. Unfortunately with Peach, though, we don't know, we don't know a uh, psych bomb, which is the last move Peach can learn, so I don't think we have anything to attack with, so we're gonna have to withdraw fisticuffs. You don't can't really do much with specials, so... Maybe I didn't think this through as much as I would have, I don't know. It's like, um... Yeah, Mario's definitely our bear. Oh, Dark Star, it's a new move, but, um... Yeah, you can block this in the remake, but it's a devastating move in the Super Nintendo version because you can't block it. And whoever gets it basically dies if you're playing the Super Nintendo version. Yeah, Gino, Gino even with the Lazy Shell, I'm gonna do 150 damage just there. Mario's doing over 400. We might, we, we're in a good position to take out Culex, but, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm completely failing at blocking these moves, but, uh... The red... Oh, wait. Yeah, so, the Firecrusher should almost be out, though. I think it should almost be taken out. There we go. Only one more uh, crystal. We're in a good position, believe it or not. But uh, let's shoot the Earth Crystal. Culex, I think, has like 12,000 HP also. But, um, oh, PG almost dead, so. I went and use these, like, Coca Colas. They only need, like, every last one of them. But apparently, no, because I forgot that uh, Gino can't really attack well when he has the Lazy Shell Arm, or at least with magic. So, G which isn't really too bad because Gino's strength is mainly being a physical attacker, so. A lot of JRPGs in my day, let's just say. Intentional rhyming right there, but um. Flamestone, yeah, Tech Mario, and uh, Group Hug. Oh, I actually missed right there, so uh. Yeah, we actually blocked that one. Oh shit! Yeah, you better come back on Mario, because he's our dominant attacker. I did that right, thank God. If you time it right, if you don't time it right, it only does half HP. So yeah, let's just take out Culex since all the crystals are down. Question is, who's gonna be the finishing blow? Let's just say, yeah, Peach's doing 100, and uh, he's doing 130. Oh shit! Well, let's. We better use a pick me up. It's actually the, fir I, the first time we have to use a pick me up in a while. Let's just say. Three sixty-four. I don't think I gave Peach the safety ring to be honest, because if she wasn't, she'd be. Ta she wouldn't be taking damage from a lot of these attacks. I didn't prepare myself for this fight as much as I thought I would, but we're in a good position to take him out at least. 
Cause uh eventually you're just gonna we're just gonna take him out. Eventually sometimes even his FP runs out, like you can Oh there we go. Now here's the gamble, because we're gonna get we use lucky we're gonna trigger a lucky. Alright, I gotta watch this. There we go. Thank God. We got 488 XP because I went high risk, high reward. Anyway, Mario's level 18. Mario learns Ultra Fireball, and we're gonna go physical. Mario's level 19. Again, let's go physical. Let's go. And, uh, Mal's level 17, so again, magic. And, uh,. Mount Gino's level 18, again physical. Bowser's level 17, physical. Peach is level 18, let's, she learns Sight Bomb. And uh, let's go HB. Ah, your spirit is strong. The legendary strength of the power of that third dimension, far mighty in the force of Molo. Male violence could dream. I'll turn to this moment in my journey here. Perhaps in another time, another game, we may be more enemies. It will gain the power of this third dimension. The force will lose the land until that time. Take this treasure. We get the quartz charm. They're all champion night. So, Hulux is actually not a Final Fantasy boss, contrary to popular myth. The game, Super Mario RPG, was developed by Square Enix, and it does play the music from Final Fantasy IV, but, uh, he's not a key, he's not really a Final Fantasy boss. However, what, okay, I did give her the safety bling. Guards against more blood. Why didn't it really work? I don't know. I think we can, uh, I think we're, we're in a good position. Peach is, uh, Peach is level 18, he's at 170 HP, so, uh, so, uh, yeah, I think I'm actually, uh, well, first of all, we're going to cut back to Nimbus land so we can tell we know what we're doing next. But uh, next time on Super Mario RPG, we're going to actually go and see, try to see the uh, we're going to go to the volcano and try to see if we can get that six star. See you guys then.